up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. I think when he's in the octagon, he's fighting at about 75% of what I see on a daily basis at the gym. Well, history is going to look back fondly on Khabib Nurmagomedov, but every time he competes, he puts his status as one of the greatest fighters of all time on the line, and that status, of course, on the line yet again here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 211 pounds. Fighting out of Baldogors, Ukraine, right time. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. And he landed the right hand there. <laughs> Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big punch from the clinch. Look at the quick action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, man, he landed another punch to the head. Oh, nice right hand. Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get up there. And he's attempting them over and over again. How long before he gets discouraged and accepts that this is going to be a stand-up fight? Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the time. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? And they separate. Beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Misses with that punch. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Numato Meadow. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. 27 total strikes have now landed for Habib Nurmagomedov. Jockey from position here on the clinch. Both fighters trying to get a more dominant position. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Nurmagomedov going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. And they separate. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Big shots being landed on both sides here. 
Nice ball there as he stuffs another takedown. So that was a big priority coming in, and the takedown defense has absolutely held up to him. Yeah, he's done a fantastic job of understanding the threat of the takedown. He's recognized it, he's defended it before it's even gotten started. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Nice punch by Nermago Meta. And they clinch once again. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Oh, nice jab. Stuff the takedown, no props. I mean, he's cutting down the size with his beautiful leg. Clipped him with the right hand there. Beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever... Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying. Because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice super punch. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that. What a big time takedown. All right, working inside the closed guard now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are, because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs, and if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on him. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, Ready somebody's going to sleep. Ready. All right, next round is underway. The knee strikes, really the big storyline in the previous round, whether it was the body, the head, the knee was there. The knee. I mean, how often do we see that anymore? Clinch knees, knees from the outside. A person that understands base management to this degree that they can land all the knees. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Takedown defense holds up. Wow. Nice look done as he gets the double leg takedown. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Gotta be careful, Armbar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off, and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. And this might just be a matter of time.
that is high-level grappling right there as he gets the win tonight here by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 1 minute, 47 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Habib the Eagle All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. Man. I mean, you know this guy had such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. And his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.